very good morning to everybody and uh, today is the day I make a video that I wasn't going to make um, let me explain I'm waiting for some parts to carry on the basic series that I've started doing and uh, unfortunately the Chinese haven't been as quick as sometimes they are normally so um, the parts I'm waiting for in the post didn't arrive so I decided to um, dig out this Arduino, um, little Arduino Nano that, that I've had knocking around for quite a while and uh, I thought uh, I might try and test out some of the relays that I, I've got and um, to try and see if I could actually get uh, get an Arduino to do what I want it to do with regards to firing up some stage lighting. Now, it's not difficult, all I'm doing is switching power on and off, so, um, you know, it, it's not hard code, it's, it's not um, anything that's, uh, that's complicated. Um, I'm also a, a beginner with Arduino. Um, I've, I've had quite a few of them and I've uploaded code and I've made lots of pretty lights, uh, light shows work with um, uh, the uh, programmable RGB LEDs, the WS1280Bs uh, or whatever they are. Um, uh, I've, I've got hundreds of those um, uh, yeah, in fact I made a complete panel and had it doing all sorts but that's by the by um, but what I wanted to do was switch ordinary sort of loads uh, with relays so I've got several uh, well I've got quite a few of these um, it was cheaper to buy 10 I think it was uh, so I've got a lot of these relays and all you've got on this board is you've got the relay itself and some connectors and then at this end let me get my my pointy scalpel thing um, you have three resistors a transistor and a diode um, the diode is is there to stop um, back EMF uh, from blowing up the transistor now what that means is um, the coil of wire, when you de-energize it, will generate a reverse current um, spike and that could damage the transistor. So the diode's there just to stop it uh, as, a, as a block. Um, it's something that's not new. It's been happening for sort of ever since coils and electromagnets were invented. Uh, well, certainly with transistors. I don't think valves had the same problem because they're a little bit more robust than uh, than the transistors are. So, um, yeah, so you've got the transistor, the diode, uh, you've got connector strip, which is, um, to have a look, voltage in, ground, and uh, trigger wire, and two LEDs, uh, the red ones to show that the power's supplied and the green ones to show that the, the relay's energised. So... Just to test it out, um, here's one I did earlier. <laughs> Sounding very Blue Peter, isn't it? And um, what's programmed into the Nano is just a, a simple switch between um, four outputs. You've got um, channel 6, 7, 8, and 9, or pin 6, 7, 8, and 9, um, switching between high and low in sequence of half a second. Uh, we're not talking serious coding here. We're, we're talking, um, you know, I borrowed the code off the internet just to to do it. So what uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the the power supply. So here we go. Um, so there we have. Just let's move that other one out of the way. So you've got red and black, positive, negative, and then this one. If I put this in pin nine, for example. Um, that's basically connected to one of the outputs. So if we switch it on, um, this little board is just a power supply, by the way. Uh, it's it's nothing special. Uh, your LED on here comes on, your power LEDs here on, and then as this board goes through its cycle, the green light comes on on that LED. Which, uh, on that relay board just to show that the relay's been energised and 
the microphone should easily pick up that clicking noise. So, yeah, you're only limited by the number of uh, output pins that you, you set up on, on the Arduino itself. So you, you could have multiple relays switching different things. Um, now, if you were going to switch low voltage and high voltage, you'd, you'd probably want to um, have separate relays. Um, but if everything's running off the same voltage, um, you could actually get uh, multiple relay boards. And just to prove that, um, let's show you one that I did earlier. And... Uh, Let's move that to the side and let's just make sure we're all in shot. And there we have a relay board um, with four relays on and that stopped moving because the triggers come off. There we go. Uh, and this is basically the same as that. And um, You have your inputs here, um, voltage and ground, and you have little LEDs to show that the actual um, relay is energized. What I've also done with this particular board is I've put the three LED wires into a separate relay each and I know it's confusing black is positive in this case um, because that's the way these these are wired and um, the brown is just the common. So let's wire those up and uh, we shall show you that working uh, and obviously that's come off again so back in a couple of seconds when I've done the wiring okay so back again and uh, here we have the same setup really um, the nano hasn't changed uh, the voltage is going in so again VCC at this end ground at this end and then input one two three and four and they correspond to one two three and four or in this case six seven eight and nine on the uh, nano pins um, if i power that up now all the relays come on because when it powers up they're all switched off they're switched on sorry and now as you see it's running through the sequence every half second it's just switching to the next relay in the in the sequence now just to prove that it is actually doing something and not just clicking if i bring the power supply leads in and uh, let's just connect that one there and that one there so that's just uh, power. Um, if I bring it more into shot, there you can see that uh, we've just got uh, power. And turn the power supply on. And uh, as you see, we're just clicking through the channels. Uh, now you're getting a blank on relay four because there are only three colours in an RGB strip. The relay allows you to connect various voltages. So in this case, we've got 12 volts coming in. The relay and the nano are both running on 5 volts. Now, the 5 volts wouldn't be enough to power this strip. And even if it was, uh, there wouldn't be enough current to, you know, from the Arduino, the, the regulator on there wouldn't be able to supply enough current to run this um, this strip on some of the colours draws nearly an amp for five metres of this LED. So um, it's a little bit more than what the Nano is capable of. So there you have it. Just a nice, simple, straightforward how to make a relay useful. And um, hopefully one day um, before Christmas, uh, I will actually have um, a decent sort of setup to uh, just show um, prior to Christmas. Um, I'm tempted to use an Arduino for my Christmas lights this year. Um, I haven't told the wife yet, but I didn't tell her last year about the meteor showers that I put up in the windows. Um, <laughs> Other things we do to play. 
so there you have it yep relays arduino um the code can be found online as i say it's a very simple um pin high pin low code there, there's nothing complicated about it um so if you like what you see if you like what i'm doing um please subscribe and hopefully the next time i see you it will be in a video that uh, i was planning to make and the postman's been uh, if you if, if you don't like what i'm doing please tell me what i'm doing wrong and uh I'll try and make the videos better uh, obviously um, any suggestions criticisms whatever please put in the comments um, I do try and answer all the comments and uh, I try and be as helpful as I can as I say criticism is welcome as long as it's constructive um, just just sort of saying nasty things is probably not gonna make friends and influence people so uh, again thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video Goodbye for now.